Shall we on here? Oh, is it going? Are we going now? Yeah. What do we do now? 30 minutes later. <laughs> okay, so now we're on Facebook Live. Did that, it just now come on? Talk to me. Is that what we're doing? Just now came on. So you got to start over. <laughs> hey, everybody. We couldn't get online uh, because for some reason, um, I think Putin is after me. So he shut me down on Facebook. So, but because I called people in France and we just bombed Moscow, we're back online. So let's go outside and we'll show you what we got. Oh, like Joe's all right. Shake your head, no what? What are you saying no about? No, you don't want to go outside? I don't understand. I get all these faces behind the camera and I just like, I feel rejected. Let's see here. All right. Hey, Facebook Live. Welcome to Incredible Tiny Home. Sorry for the, the ha mishap delay. As you can see, I'm dressed up tonight. I'm dressed up because we have a beautiful home. This is one of the finest homes that we've built. We've had a couple other really nice homes that came through um, our, our warehouse. What, what is aggravating for me in some ways is that every single home we have, okay, is custom built for you. So whatever you want, we do. A lot of these homes leave out of here in certain conditions because that's the way the customer wants them. This one, we were fortunate enough to spit this up and shine it. I started this house before it was sold. I was going to build it with an investor and so we designed it. The customer came in, liked it, we just went ahead and sold it to her. She tweaked it a little bit and I'll show you some of the tweaks that she made. But we made it because in my mind a 24 foot home is perfect, it's beautiful. I was going to wear a tuxedo tonight to try to show everybody how fancy this house is. I don't want incredible tiny homes having a reputation just because our prices are a third and almost half of what our competition is. I didn't want everybody to think that we just build, um, you know, average homes or we don't like to put high-end things in them. We do. I would love to build a high-end home. What makes a high-end home? I'm trying to think. And I've said this before. Is Cedar Shakes really cheap? I mean, we got wood cedar shakes. Is that inexpensive? Is that not high end? Um, beautiful wood siding. Is that not high end? We got the metal roof. Now I can go with standing seam. Standing seam metal roofing can go up there. This is just corrugated and it's, it's called face screw. We put the screw right on the face. It's warranted for 50 years. Now the screws are warranted for 15. So they say the neoprene washer and you got to pull it out, put a bigger screw in every 15 years. On this portion here, we got probably, what, 40, 30 screws. This is a real common roof. If we do a standing seam, no screws are shown, and it's probably going to cost about another 1000 bucks to put that roof on there. People want to opt or not do it. That's what I'm trying to educate you guys on, is that we can go standing seam, but it's still just $1,000, all right, extra. Now, let me show you the windows. We have a light up top with a window up top. You see the triangle window. It's a vaulted ceiling. We have a rubber roof. We always put a rubber roof here. I don't like putting the metal roof down below because somebody could cut their hand or hit their face if they're walking around this roof. So we put a nice rubber roof on here. Every, this rubber goes up underneath these cedar shakes, up around here. The cedar shakes come down here. We always think about water. All right, this is storage. We normally put our water heater and our panel box out here. This is just storage. There's nothing in there right now. 24 foot home. Bay window, like I said, cedar shakes. Here's a sliding glass door. When I first designed it, we had two double windows. We had one double window or two single windows side by side. And the sofa was going to go here looking at the TV on the other wall. But she wanted a sliding glass door. She's going to put a deck and they're going to look at the river. And this home is for rent. And you can come on, it's called the Hummingbird. So you want to come on to our website, you can come on and go stay in this thing. Wouldn't that be awesome? You can come and stay and help peg them. This is a panel box. It's an exterior panel box. We opted over here because we had to put the door in. When we put the door in, before we had all of our wires running to out front, but then we cut the door and cut all our wind our electrical. So we moved the panel box to the side instead of the front. I say this, anything you want in a home, we can do. Any changes you want, we can do. There's nothing. We'll tear the roof off and put a new roof on it for you. All right? Now that two-stage roof did not cost anything extra. A lot of companies 
because they want the shed dormer in the back to give all the headroom and it transfers to a regular gable. They want $2,500 for each side. You know, we don't charge anything for that. This is an eight lug axle. You get two axles, brakes on both axles. So you got four brakes on here. If it's a triple axle, you got six brakes. And what we do is we put all the brakes on every wheel because it'll accommodate any state law in the lower 48, Alaska, and Hawaii. All right, flat log siding. This is flat log siding. I built log cabins for 20 years. Normally, this is a three quarter inch pine, eastern white pine. This little chink, we call this a chink joint. You can put a, an, a, an epoxy chink that looks like the old timey um, kind of concrete or mud in between the logs. But we love this siding because it's real popular for us. This is board and batten, board and batten. This is a one by 12 piece of wood. Behind that one by 12 is either plywood or OSB. Two by fours, spray foam insulation, another three quarters for TNG, which is tongue and groove paneling on the inside, which you will see, all that's in here. So you've got two boards that come together and that strip covers the two boards together. Don't I look nice, come on. Hey, come on, just go this way. I look better than life. <laughs> Back here, we have Vanna. You have your tankless water heater vent. You have your exhaust fan for your bathroom. You have your Eve light, which is your Eve. Overhang, that's called an overhang or an Eve. E-V-E, -E, not Adam, but Eve. And this is your Pioneer mini split. E-A-V-E. Is it E-A-V-E? Did somebody correct me? No. That's, that's so cool. Joe, I wish I had Facebook when I was in school. People would have a spell. <laughs> Pioneer. I had some guy call me and said, we were charging too much for our heating and air system. Like, okay, charging too much. This is what we got. Go to Amazon, buy it. We paid $5,900 for this thing. We charged about 150 bucks to, in, for us to run the line set. We got these brackets. We put blocking in this wall. So when you're going down the highway, this thing doesn't fall off and kill grandma following you bumper you. <laughs> then we have a heat and air guy. His name's Max. He comes and he hooks it up. Well, he takes some Freon lines and he adds to it. Then he hangs the inside unit and then he has to evaporate all the moisture out of the Freon lines and fill them with coolant, all right? Then we make it work. All that's gotta happen with the breaker and the electrical and the drain. Uh, oh well, wow, we charge a whole lot of them. I'm getting rich off of putting too many splits in my house. <laughs> here we go. Again, here's your water, water, water. This siding fits up underneath that siding. We have a screw. We don't nail our siding. We screw everything together. What else do you want in a high-end home? Do I look good? Okay. Come you this look way. good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about these? The, the oh, things the over awnings? the windows? We have mm -hmm. awnings. I had to wait for the echo to go. We have awnings above every window. So what we do is we always watch for rain and water. So the water can actually hit those awnings and drip out away from the house. And then we have, and we have our custom gutters. Our gutters are three, two, and four. So any water coming off, it hits. It's not sitting below the roof. It hits above the roof. So the water hits that, comes down, and we can evade the water from hitting the house. There's an exterior plug. Oh, and you do it over the door, too. Everywhere there's an opening into the house. Awesome. You guys ready to go in? Let's do it. Do I look nice? You look nice. Yeah. My God. Yeah, I get dressed up, you know. It's awesome. I'm in the living room. Isn't this gorgeous? We've decorated this. What I like is the 24-foot hole. To me, is a sweet spot because I've got this. I mean, we're talking two or three people can be cooking, and I need three people to cook for me. And then you got this, and you know what? Nobody cooks for me. But anyway, you got this big living. I mean, you can arrange this. You can almost have a. a Put an L-shaped sofa in here, and you can. Uh, they bought for this sliding glass door. We actually had the sofa here, and the TV was going to go in against that wall underneath that small window. Either way you do it, I think it looks nice. So I'm going to sit here and show you how big this is. You know, so I mean, you could actually have a nice sofa. This is a bay window. 
okay? Bay window, whitewash walls, natural finish trim, natural finish ceilings, right? I'm letting, you, I'm letting you take this in a little silence here. I really do feel comfortable in this house. I don't feel like it's small. And I'm just being honest with you. Um, it just feels good. There's room. There's leg room. There's nothing in my way. This is a full, separate living room right here. This could be a sofa. You want to pull out for a single sofa. We do not have the second loft for storage. This home was built and engineered, designed, I mean, to rent. It's made to make money. So they didn't want an extra loft up here because it gives this great big feel, which I'm feeling right now, of no loft above me. So the ceiling's big. You got the triangular glass that's up above us, right? Beautiful. Let me turn this. No, I know. I probably don't need to get this right. There we go. See the indirect lighting? And that was a real simple feature that we put on here. We have it down below. We also have it up in the box. Isn't that nice? I don't... What I'm trying, I guess, to point out would be... Look, I'm going to get... What I wanted to point out, can you still see me? Mm hmm I can still see you. What I wanted to point out, and that's why I've dressed up tonight, is to show our high-end home. Now, I'm sure competitors, if they choose to watch, which I'm sure they're not, they're going to say, well, that's a cheap vinyl door, that's cheap vinyl windows. Well, they're not cheap, but they won't rot, they won't rust, they'll last forever, right? But if you wanted wood, which would be fine, wood with aluminum clad on the outside, these windows would cost another $200 a piece. We can add, let's add two more thousand dollars to that price of the home. Okay, that doesn't put us to 85 grand. And I don't add anything labor to that. So if you wanted to spend two or $3,000 or $4,000 or $10,000 in windows, I do not add a high cost to put those in. It's the same manual labor putting these windows in as it does the other ones. Here's our stairs. Let me turn some lights on for us. Mm -hmm. Let's see a little bit. These stairs here are storage. You can see the hinge is back here. There's all kinds of ways of doing stairs. This is kind of our typical staircase. We have usually have a door here. If we put hinged here, we don't put a drawer here, vice versa. There's no reason for that. Refrigerator, underneath the stairs. As you can see, you come up the stairs. These are wide, these are wide stairs. We're talking, this is 12 inches. This is a typical stairs in any home. You come up your steps, you can actually stand on this platform and stand completely straight up and sit down on your loft, okay? And we'll get to that. I'll go, up, I'll go up there in a minute. Probably shouldn't have pointed that out. Um, let's go to the kitchen. It was here. You know, it was standing there in my way, so I decided I'd describe it. This, the, all, everything in this whole house, the gas stove, the refrigerator, uh, the finishes. This is a beautiful whitewash finish. This is a, everything's urethane twice with sand sealer, urethane. You've got the mini split upgrade. You've got um, dishwasher. Range, refrigerator, sink, uh, tankless water heater, delivery, setup, bay window, shake shingles, triangular glass, vaulted ceilings, two-stage roof system, $56,000 for a 24-footer. Ceiling fan. Turn it on. It's just like... <laughs> you are not subtle. You You're kicking me under the table. I'm kicking you I don't know under the table. This. Wait, are you yes. hot? No, I need to see you. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. We got it from Mike, your countertop. Which he was going to put quartz. Quartz was about, I think about $1,000. And um, she went with it for Mike, which is probably two two fifty. You know, it's fine. Um, quartz would have been fine, too. 
we had a little bit of um, because of the quartz and the size and, and getting the color that she wanted, so she opted for this. I guess we'll continue with the kitchen. This is a drop-in porcelain sink. She picks out her plumbing fixtures. Which is really nice, it's Kohler. We build all of our custom cabinets. We we'll build them right here. Drawer underneath. We also have this small pantry that comes out. Isn't that nice? A table on the side. This is kind of a, um, we can adjust the stairs to go in and out. And what we did is we actually, <coughs> bless you, even though it was a cough. Hey, we could pull the steps back and notch, all right, notch out this loft. But what we did is the living room was well enough, large enough, so we kept the stairs where they were, left the large, the loft. The loft is 10 foot long. So it's 10 foot by 87 and a half. So we got a table here now. We can have two, two stools that you can actually eat or you can prep food. Uh, this homeowner actually has a, a table that fits underneath here on rollers and it can roll into the living room for another table to eat in the living room and then it fits back here. I like doing things simple. There's a lot of builders that are doing all these gadgets and folds up, fold downs, and hidden and hidden stuff. So what we can do is this is a barn door. We got four drawers. And so I don't put a lot of shelves in it. Being this is a rental, you want to keep it clean and neat because you put a lot of stuff in there and it kind of, it, it, it just comes in on you when you got so many cabinets, upper cabinets, you know? So, and I'm simple. I always feel like my philosophy about tiny homes is to be tiny, is to be simple. It's not a home. So why have all these knickknacks and why have four towels when you just need one or two, you know? Why need 10 plates when you just need two or four for guests, right? And there's appropriate place for them instead of putting them everywhere. But that's just my philosophy. When you do get the homes, you know, what, what you all can do is you can put shelves here later, you know. You, put, you might buy a cabinet. I went back to a home that I would built 15 months later, and she had all had little cabinets and knickknacks. But she had to live there in a while to make sure she knew what she, you know, what she wanted and where she wanted it. I'm going to go into the bathroom now. Oh, we do have a plug on the side of this table, so if you wanted to run your computer, a nice little office area. We put a bunch of plugs in all of our homes. This is a regular on-grid. Everything's on-grid. So you have a normal toilet, right? You have your 36-inch shower. As you can see, it's a Magon. Let's see if I can see my... Oh, you're here. Hey, and then a 36-inch shower, which is big. I mean, I'm just a massive guy. My girth is massive across my... I got all this room here, all right? What you you kind of keep the camera on me. Then you got this sink, right? The sink is right here. It's what? Nine inches across, eight, eight point four three second inches here, and sixteen and a half point four five millimeters wide. And then you don't have to hit your hip, okay? So you don't get any bruises when you wear your speedos. Then over here, oh, you got your eco temp. Alright? We love eco temp. They've done really well for us. Look, I'm getting I'm getting I gotta shoot. <gasps> We got it. Oh, don't use your. Here we go. But you plug these into a 110 outlet. This is a gas tankless water heater. Turn it on. If you've got water, run it forever. It'll stay hot until you run out of fuel. All right. Here's. I love this because you get all this storage. You can put a rack to hang clothes on underneath here. You can stack all this. Again, this is a rental for her. So people will be staying here for two, three days and gone. If you put luggage under stuff. Exhaust fan. I'm trying to point everything out for y'all. This light fixture is only $10 at Lowe's. Okay? You can get a $500 Tiffany light if you'd like. I don't charge any more to hang that. You send us your light fixtures, we'll put them up. One thing I love about that light, it gives off so much light into the shower, into here. When you put the, when they put their mirror up here, the mirror will have so much room you can do whatever you gotta do. Alright. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna close you up. Hey. Here you go. <laughs> it's just so nice. The kitchen 
can actually have two or three people. And this is an eight foot wide house. I'm gonna go up the stairs, as you can see. I can just sit, you know? I can sit on the lock, and I can stand up here. I'm still got room. We got a full bed, indirect lighting. This right here is 50 inches, okay? To right here, it's 50 inches tall. Yep. And the full length is 10 foot, so we're 10 foot from here all the way back here. The bed's not pulled all the way back, so we're talking 10 by 88, 87 and a half, this whole loft area. There you go, it's a whole room. There's so many things you can do with it, you know? Careful going down. You good? Uh huh. Yeah. I like this. We always have this is a four degree pitch on our roof, four degrees. So at four degrees means you got, you know, uh, it actually drops four inches. So it'll drop four inches from the peak to the side, which gives you optimal handrail. So you should, your rain will still come off. Um, Two by four rafters, and we use steel girders or steel gussets, and beefs it up for any kind of snow load that you would need if the snow is to pack on this. All right. Let's see what else we need. <sighs> I'm getting stuffed in this shirt. <laughs> but it was really nice. At, you know, when I when I do a think of a video, it seems like it never turns out the way I have it in my mind. Um, you know, I wanted to wear a tuxedo and all this kind of stuff, but I, I think I'm just too nonchalant or too real for everything. It's hard for me to act different than what I am. So, but I do want to, I just wanted to try to point out to you all that, you know, the difference between a high-end home and our home is really not that much that I can see. Uh, they, you know, what I wanted to, you know, in the high-end homes, there's a lot of really neat little cabinets, and there is some really, maybe a lot more cabinetry maybe in the kitchen. I just don't see where it can justify another $30,000 on top of this, you know? So, uh, I'm out here to show the world that we can have, you can have a beautiful home, you know, and you, can, you don't have to mortgage your, you know, your life away. You know, our home started at 25,000, this is a 24 footer, okay? Our 24 footers, I can't, is it 40,000 or $40,000? You know, 40,000 for a 24 footer. She's got, uh, what, 12,000, 12, 10,000, 12,000 extras that she's put in this that she's got. Plus, we got delivery set up, all the stuff involved in it, all the appliances, all included in her price, you know? They've been wonderful to work for. Thank you, Peggy and Bill. The, um, for the opportunity to build for you all. I love this house. This is my favorite. This is why we built, you know, I, I started it uh, as a spec house to sell and because this is my favorite design and uh, size, really, for it to live in. For me, it's practical to stay in. Uh, I like all kinds of designs home, so I'll never be satisfied with any home I get. But right here, 24 footer is good because you still have two axles. 26 foot, we bump up to three axles. So you got another axle, you got two more tires to worry with, and it's just a little bit tough to make curves and corners when you're when you're uh, driving. Now I've got some questions if yeah. you're ready. Yeah. On the stove right here. Yeah. Um, I think it was her name was Cindy. She was asking, is there a vent for the stove? A vent. Yeah. Oh, they opt to not have a vent. Yeah. Normally we put a hood vent on here. Mm -hmm. but this customer didn't didn't request a hood vent. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, I of course know, and they probably do too. But the wood slab that you did in the Hobbit for the ca kitchen countertop, can you? We you, do you still do that? Yeah, yeah. You know what? We can do slabs. And the reason we went to butcher block is the wood is a little more stable. We put the big slabs in, and what we found is they move a lot. Mm -hmm. And and we've um, I guess because we've taken one from here to a drier climate and they've separated a little bit. So we haven't really used that many um, since then. 
Okay. And what kind of flooring? Somebody wanted to know. This is an oak flooring. It's five inches wide. And it's gray finish. And three quarter inch thick tongue and groove oak flooring. This is regular flooring that you get in an older house. It's three quarter inches thick. Solid. I do not like laminate floor. I don't like uh, the floating floor. You walk across it and it sounds like it's hollow underneath. Mm -hmm. This is this is solid. Underneath here, you've got this. You've got your um, Advantech, three quarter inch Advantech sub flooring, screwed directly to the trailer. Then underneath the trailer is spray foam with polyurethane foam all underneath, which keeps keeps bridging from happening for your cold weather to come in through and feel cold steel after you're up in a cold climate. Yeah, someone just said this would be a great starter home for people just getting married or oh just their gosh. first home. Would be a great to have um, a tiny home. I really to start. I love this house. I mean, it's you have a full living room, so a husband or wife or some, you know, if it's two people, like I said, a starter home. I mean, you got a living room that you can actually lay down and watch TV like a regular house. You got a full kitchen. I'm walking around in the kitchen. I'm not just standing in one spot. I'm walking around, I'm cooking, I got the fridge, I'm preparing over here. I can have my laptop here. I'm checking on, you know, my chef. So I can, <laughs> so I can cook and get me a recipe. I'm gonna put a dash of salt in here. <laughs> in there. I'm cooking, I got this. Hey, what's going on out there? Hey, get out of there, you kids! Get it back off there! screaming everybody out there. <laughs> you can have somebody taking a shower that just come in the house. You got sliding glass doors. And then the one thing nobody thinks about is a deck outside. You can put a deck around these things and all the living is done outside. Mm -hmm. And open the doors, open the windows. Perfect. It really is. And two, the living room could have had a, um, um, What's your bed? The pull-out bed, the built-in... Built-in sofa bed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you could definitely have somebody sleep here. And mm -hmm. I think they're going to have a sofa bed, the, the owners are, mm -hmm. for their guests. We put a bay window on there that bumped it out another foot. So it's actually 25 feet long, you know. Um, you know, there's so many things you can do with this. That's why I build custom. I do not have four or five models for you to choose from. I don't have a model for you to choose from. My model is what you come up with. All right? Anything you want, we build. We're looking at building a 12 by 40 foot home right now. 12 by 40, all iron. Not steel frame, iron. We're talking big I beams. It's gonna look industrial. All glass, nice pitch, very almost a flat roof. And it's gonna be exciting. And this guy's, we're drawing it. He's using actually, um, uh, who owns Microsoft? Oh my God, Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. Bill Gates' architect is the one drawing it up. Or it's, it's similar, not drawing his plans, but um, drawing it, you know, the similar look of his home. That's exciting for a builder like me or a carpenter like my guys, all of us. We love doing different stuff. So that, I think this turned out really nice. Um, love the finishes. Any other questions? Uh, touch real quick again on the dishwasher. This Somebody, dishwasher yeah. is a drawer. Carly was wanting to know. I don't this thing up. I don't know how to open it. I really don't. That's a new one. We've never seen yeah. this before. I really don't know how to even use it. Oh, there it is. That's a small dishwasher. Really cute. Yeah. We've tried it. Everything works. Drains. Duck. Nice. Yeah, isn't that cool? Now, the reason they did that was because they wanted, uh, you know, it's a rental. And so they wanted to, to be kind of fancy and kind of nice, you know? So you put your dishes in there, you almost leave them in there. When I was a kid, that's where you got your forks, was a dishwasher. Nice fridge, this is not a real big fridge, you know, but it's a nice fridge. You got full fridge, and then you got, of course, your freezer. And these you get at Lowe's. These small fridges, I think they're, they sell at Lowe's for- Like three. Three, four hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm probably too real for everyone. We show everything, we show what we're doing. Um, Wish I could be more fancy. I tried to be fancy tonight for y'all wearing my, my little suit, my tie, to show that we have a nice home, and this is a really beautiful home. There's always more you can do. There's always more you can add, of course, as y'all know that. To me, I try to find that balancing ground to where you all don't have to spend a fortune to have some really nice stuff. 
thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you hanging in there. We had some trouble with uh, Putin trying to hold us back from <laughs> getting on our Facebook. There's so many things I like to talk about, and I really take advantage of this time that I've got the opportunity to talk to everybody. I, I want to thank everybody for supporting us and sending all of your comments and um, thinking about what we do and your encouragement and what we do. You know, I, again, I'm just a carpenter. You know, uh, love what we do, love the guys that work here. We really enjoy working for you all. We really enjoy building these homes. And my prices are not going up. They are the same as what they were. We start at 25000 and we go from there. If you have any questions about our pricing, please feel free, feel free to call me, talk to me, any of the girls. We've got five people, like I said, five people in the background that is getting a home just to the floor stage to where we can build it. And it's a, hopefully it's a stage staging of completely getting the home that you want you know it is designed exactly like you want and then when we get it on the floor we've got the trailer we've got the blueprints we've got the inventory everything's paid for set up and done and we're really trying to get this thing lined up to where it just fits and fits your homes are not manufactured they are craft built by hands one time one home at a time each crew has their own home to build all right so I could go on. I don't want to bore you. Thank you um, so much. Regina Pleasure. was asking uh, about Susan's house. Oh yeah, Susan's. Mm -hmm. it, just an update. Yeah, uh, we could go over there and see it. You want to go over and look at it? If they want to. Yeah, let's go over there. You guys want to go see it? Hey, tell me. Let's take a vote. <laughs> Susan's house is going to be delivered Saturday. That's the update. So we're taking it Saturday. This is leaving tomorrow. For the Shenandoah River. Let's see, man. I don't know the way to get over here. Okay. I am getting a little stuck. <laughs> You're getting hot. Now we have to go all the way around. So let's go right here. Primed on the outside. This is her inside. We started putting the cabinets today. We had to put another underlayment flooring on top of the subfloor. It's glued, stapled. These are the stairs, exactly the same stairs that were on her print. Drawers underneath each one, storage steps going up. This is exactly the blueprint that's on that she was that sent to us. Yeah. So it's not finished, but. What I like about it is this big bathroom. Look at this massive bathroom. I'm talking a 48 inch shower. I think this is a 30 or 36 inch vanity. Right? Yep. So, exhaust fan, all this, trim, white, good. But we'll all be on this tomorrow throughout the week to have this ready to go by Friday evening. And Saturday morning. Saturday morning, uh, I think she, he's trying to leave out Saturday, Saturday sometime. Yeah, believe it or not. But the finish is all beautiful, white kind of gloss like Teddy's put on. Big kitchen. Actually, this right here is more, this is actually a pantry that stands up here. Then there's a stove and there's cabinets, upper, lowers, everything right here. So that'll be on, they're already built because they're store bought. This one, there's some fabricating as you can see here. This is an upper cabinet that we're going to mount to the ceiling and then they'll have some space underneath it. We got to put a back on it. Then we got to put a buffer back here so you don't have this big gap. Stuff like that's not seen on a blueprint. And so we have to fabricate that. That's what takes a little bit of time. So we're going to fill that in so it doesn't look like a big hole behind there. All right. Countertops are here, sinks here, everything. We're just putting everything together. The last thing we'll do is put the flooring in because the flooring is a laminate floor. It's a vinyl laminate. And, um, we don't want to walk on that. That's like the last thing we do is put the carpet in. The flooring is already upstairs. It's already on the deck for the loft. I love the living room. It's big. She's got a, this is 28 foot home. Yeah. With a shed roof? Yeah. Shed roof. Yeah. But this is a big living room. I mean, you know, 
all this right here is your living room, you know. It'll change so much when we tear off the plastic outside and let that natural light in, all their upper windows and stuff. So, and then Jeffrey uh, will be here to run all the wiring or you know, put all the fixtures in and everything for us. I think he's coming tomorrow. Any questions? We're good. All right. See my shoes? Wait, let me see. Look at my shoes. Look, look at. They call them shadow toes. Regina, look at my look at my shoes. Regina, I don't have work boots on. Isn't that cool? I mean, I'm actually styling a little bit. What size is the house again? Car foot. Carol okay. wants to know. All right, Carol. Carol, come here. Look at the Hobbit. Is that not cool? Let me get a side picture yeah, of Susan's. Side. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Randy. Regina said she was proud of you for dressing up. Yes. Thank you, Regina. And this is all going to be cedar shakes. Great vines. Yeah, the homeowner's actually coming back the seventh for our workshop, the fourteenth for our workshop, and finish the outside. We've got a rubber roofing that goes over this, and the ivy. You can see our bay, our arch window that we've got, and it's all. This is just fun. This is just nothing but fun stuff here. We like doing this. Eight lug. Uh, it's a twenty foot home. Two axles. Eight lugs. Got your jacks. Typical. Good. You got flashing up behind all that, waterproofing. You think about the water everywhere. Hey, let me show you this over here. Now, I know I've covered it once before. Just a little bit. It's just a technical thing that I can show you. Isn't that cool? Very cool. I did that when I did the first Hobbit, and it's really worked out well. Underneath here. That's a one by underneath that. And that rubber is pulled down and rolled up back behind there. And so the cedar shakes will be laid here, one on top of another, and be tucked up underneath that one by four with the rubber. So any water or ice that comes off that house will be running down and won't go back behind the shakes. Then we come over this ice guard. The ice guard is run underneath or on top of this um, boarding batten, and it can come off too. So, um, this is going to have a metal roof. It's going to Colorado. They're saying they get a lot of snowfalls, so we didn't want it. we didn't want ivy on the roof because I was afraid it would freeze to it, and then probably just slide and pull the ivy right off. Even though um, the ivy on the first home I did is fine, but it's in Tennessee and there's not a big snow load on it, you know. So, but that's the technical part of it. Um, by the end of next week, um, we'll be the, the inside will be done. Uh, we're hitting missing. We're starting two more homes. This one will be completed. The homeowner will be finishing it the 14th through the 20th, so we'll bring you more video course on that project. Any questions? We're good. Everybody loves it. They love all the houses. Nice. You know what? I, I feel very fortunate to build these homes. Uh, because we were delayed, we were doing another video, and I can't remember what I've said, and I, I apologize if I repeat myself, but we don't have models to choose from, you know? We have custom homes. We like again. We and I say the same thing. We built over 50 homes, and every one of them's been the same. So, your home is our model. We love doing different. I don't have a stamp. And the way they make money, the way the guys are making money out here is they'll say, "Hey, we got three or four models to choose from. You can tweak the roof line. You can tweak that around." They say custom, <clears throat> and I don't think it's just custom. We start with a blank, just a blank piece of paper. And you tell us what you like, and we go from there. And you can do it for small families. Oh, yeah. Somebody wants to know, did, I think it was Jacqueline, wanted to know if we have done it for small families, and we have. Yeah, yeah. small mm -hmm. families. Whatever Jeez. design. I'm actually designing one right now with actually on one end of the house is two bedrooms. <clears throat> um, our ceiling, our floor to ceiling is almost 11 foot. So if we put a floor in there, you've got like five foot four inches of headroom in each bedroom. So you have a bedroom, 
and another bedroom. And each child or person in that bedroom can have their own bed, closet, desk, TV, window, and entryway on that end of the house. So we could come out, let's say come out nine feet, and you got two bedrooms stacked on top of each other. At the other end of the house, you have your kitchen, right? And you can have your another bedroom up there. So there's a way of doing all this. We're designing one right now that's 12 by 36, I think, 12 by 32. And it's gonna have three bedrooms and a master bath, master bedroom with a king size bed, living room and all that. Yeah, and so it's 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 kind of it's a challenge to do it, but again it's cool, you know. So the height of the houses have to be what do you what do you got thirteen six is what you have to play with. It's thirteen six from ground to top is thirteen six wide is eight foot six. Mm -hmm. We put our gutters on, they probably go a little wider than eight foot six at the top with those gutters. But um I don't think anybody's going to pull you over and pull a tape measure on that gutter, you know. And um, I think that's about it. Any questions? We're good. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I always try to think I can do a professional video and do it like for five minutes and show you the tour, but it seems like we end up getting in so much more information. Hope you liked it. Uh, please share this video, if you would, with all your friends and family and people. Uh, we're also, you know, we got a lot of things in the works. We're looking at land locally that may have a, a, a tiny home community near us that we're thinking about doing. A lot of cool stuff. I don't want to say a lot of things until we have it for sure. But we do have our certification. Uh, Todd Quattro out of Quattro Construction out of Detroit, Michigan. Um, him and I have got our certification together. It's going to be RVAH, which is Recreational Vehicle and Alternative Housing. We will be stamped by, by an architect, a licensed architect, engineer. And we can have these that you can take to your insurance company. The thing is, is that is a political agenda that they get into. NOAA and RBIA, they have lobbied and they've met with insurance companies and banks and loans and they've gotten their name out there and they're saying, hey, this is who we are. People are not going to know who we are right at first. So I'm hoping, you know, I don't want to drive all over the country like they have and went to all these um, shows and they want to, and I'm just not that kind of guy. I will if I have to, to, a, to an extent. To help you all so that so the certification I didn't get a certification to make money I didn't do that I need <clears throat> certification so you all can have uh, a credential to carry with you with your home all right so it's just a step up to make us that much more better and Mary just said I still think you all should offer seller financing seller financing me selling Financing, we do offer seller financing. We offer seller financing. Mary, is that Mary? Mary. Mary, we offer seller financing. It's called Lean On Me Financing. I don't have any money to give you. I'm not a bank. Okay? So I can't loan you a house and get $2,000. Now, this house right here, um, let's say I think it's $36,000, $34,000, right? Well, I'm going to make about $5,000 off this house. Okay? So it's gonna cost me 27,000 to build. I gotta have, and if I loan you a house and you're gonna give me $2,000 down, I gotta have right here in my back pocket, I gotta have $25,000 to pay for all the materials and all the guys. And I'm cheap and I'm getting away with a lot here. They can shut me down here in Morristown, but the guy that owns the place is really good with everybody, so we're good to go. So I gotta have 25 grand to give you a home. I don't have it. I've been in business two years. Every dime I got goes right back into this company. And anybody with a small business knows what it takes. But what I do am, what I am offering is if you buy a home and the home costs $30,000, I will finance half of that. So if you can come up with 15 grand, I'll finance the other 15 grand. That's the best I can do right now. I'd love mm -hmm. to finance more. Um, if you add amenities, heating and air, all this other things, amenities onto it, those things are not financed. Okay, the only part that I finance is the base price. A 16 foot home is 25 grand. I will finance 12.5. If you add a heating and air system, you add stairs to it, you add staining and painting and the farm style sink and all the stuff, that's all added that you will pay up front. I will only pay for the first half of our base price. Does that make sense? Okay, mm -hmm. so. That's where I'm at. So financing, yeah, I don't know. There's no other company in the United States that's doing in-house financing like that. I don't even check your credit score. All I want is five character references that'll, that'll personally 
I want you to want them to write me a letter. And you could bogus do it and write them yourself and do it with your right hand, and left hand, and your toes and make it look like somebody else wrote it. <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is get character. And, and it's like me. I don't have any credit either. But I want you to give me character references of who you are. And then I want some collateral. Hey, do you got a car it's paid for? You got a motorcycle? You got a four-wheeler? You know, you have something grandpa gave you, some kind of, I don't know, some kind of heirloom. Think about it. I'm here. All right. If you don't pay, then I don't get any money and how to collect from you. So we'll probably retain the, the title to the home until you pay. And of course, the collateral that you give us. But then when it's paid off, we send it back to you. I charge a 10% finance fee. So if your house, if I'm financing, $12,500, I'm going to charge you $1,250 bucks finance fee, okay? Not $2,400, $2,500, only the part that you borrow. It's a 10% finance fee because at the end of two years, I'm going to have money in doing a coupon book, doing the legalities of the contract and getting all this set up, all right? Hey, if I make some money, it'd be great, wouldn't it? So. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. And just real quick, just touch base on Bryce's house. They want to know about your son's house. Can we go look at it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go look at it. He got it spray foam. This is a 12 foot home. There's Alyssa and Zach and Joe. Bryce has been, um, come on, buddy. Bryce has been busy working during the day, and um, he's new to this industry, and I couldn't be more proud to have him here. How old is Bryce? Bryce is 21. You know, he didn't go to school, college. And he wanted, he didn't know what he wanted to do. I think with a lot of people, a lot of young people. I don't care what he does. I just want to be happy. And I mean it. I don't care if he's, whatever he does, I swear. I don't care if he goes to college. I don't care if he stays right here, if he goes down the road. Um, I just want to be, I just want to see him smile and enjoy his life. This is a 12 foot home, 12 foot. I was actually going to put, I was going to actually do it for myself. And then he came and I said, you need to jump on it. We got a used trailer, 350 bucks. He designed it. He designed everything. He put the bead groove on the outside. This is a, a, a bead board. So it's individual boards, but there's a bead on the center, and he wanted this on the outside. He wanted those kind of windows. He's going to have his sofa right here with his TV on the other side and a bathroom and kitchen. And then his loft is out here. That's his bed. Is up top. We're going to put a window in the end. And then he's going to have a fold-down porch that comes right here. So his porch will fold down. He's got his door. It's all spray foam. He can heat that with a match and cool it with an ice cube. I mean, it's just like so efficient, you know. But right now, it's just, it's just really empty inside. He's going to put black corners. Black corners on here with the black roof. I don't call he's going to stain it. But I'll tell you what, I'm excited about him building this. He's been through some stuff, and he's, I'm glad to see him trying to do something, and being a dad is just means a lot, you know. So, yeah, appreciate you guys asking about it. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything else? We're good? Hey, Joe, say goodbye. Thanks, everybody. I really do mean it. I, thanks for letting me dress up tonight. I thought I'd maybe draw, you know, let you guys do the thing with my our high-end home. Uh, We'll see you Friday night. We got one leaving out Thursday, one Thursday, uh, Saturday. Anything else? We're good. Thanks so much. Have a good night. I'll see you Friday night.